finally, we are approaching the postseason. This Dallas Cowboys wild card team got me thinking. Got the division, Cowboys Mason. We're coming home. See you next week. Go Cowboys. What are the best wild card games that Dallas ever played in? In this video, I'll revisit the top five wild card memorable games in Cowboys history. 10 5, he's going in. Touchdown. You gotta go out in the next boat. Yes, sir. Come on, get this shit out. Ah! In 2022, Dallas was one of the best teams in the league with a 12 and 5 record. They were second in the East behind the Eagles. On the edge, great speed, Powell to the end zone, touchdown. Pierce running oh, oh, the ball is out. Hops right into the hands of Tremont Diggs. The Cowboys started the season against Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This game was one of the most anticipated games in a long time. Up until that game and Tom Brady's long career, Dallas had never beaten him. Doc had a promising camp and Lamb had matured since his rookie season. This was a huge, exciting game. But unfortunately, it turned out to be a horror flip. First and goal for the five, Brady. Evans. Did he catch it? Yes, sir. Touchdown. Hard to beat in the air, Mike Evans. Not only did Dallas lose, but we also lost Doc Prescott for five weeks. Well, that Shaq Barrett plays, looking at that hand, and Cooper Rush has come in for the Cowboys. The season was over. Fortunately for us, though, Cooper Rush came in and saved the day. Surprisingly, Rush won four out of five games. Rush looking, throwing it, out it's caught by Gallup. But that first game left a bitter taste in our mouths. So, I'm guessing you remember how we all felt when Dallas had to face the Buccaneers again in the wildcard game. It was a revenge game. All week, the media threw Brady's undefeated record against Dallas in our faces. With Tom Brady, <laughs> Sam Howell, they couldn't stop him either. What are they going to do with Tom Brady? The Dallas Cowboys, they fall. They're up late, but it doesn't matter. I'm thinking... 29 24 and then tom brady drives them down the field game winning touchdown tampa bay 31 dallas cowboys 29 tom brady goes to the bay the dallas cowboys go home that's what i see i have to admit as a fan i couldn't wait for this game to start this wasn't the same dallas cowboys team that we saw in previous seasons you just knew that this game was different. The Cowboys didn't let me down. Doc played exceptionally in this one, probably the best game of his career in terms of dominance. He had a 143 passer rating. He threw the ball 33 times and only had eight incompletions. Meanwhile, that defense was on a mission. Brady was sacked twice and threw an interception. He ended the game with a 72 passer rating. Throws it. Intercepted by Curse. One of his lowest ratings in his career. Dallas sent the GOAT into retirement with a loss and one of the most memorable wildcard games in franchise history. 2009. I want them when they walk in here to say, that's my Dallas Cowboys. That's what this is about. When some of the greatest businesses in this whole country couldn't borrow a penny, we were able to get an underwriting for over $475 million. The 2009 Dallas Cowboys had the only top 10 defense in Romo's legendary career. There comes a time yeah, yeah. when a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Yeah. All we got is each other. Romo had 26 touchdowns with just nine interceptions. This is Austin, first NFL start, a Cowboy hero today. So he had an exceptional season. On the other hand, the Eagles were also having a great year. McNabb and the Eagles offense were fifth in the league. Dallas beat the Eagles 20-16 in Week 9. The last game of the season was one of the most important games in Romo's career. Not only was he playing against the Eagles, but the game was also played for the division. Heading into this game, the Eagles were 11-4, while Dallas was 10-5. Whoever wins the game wins the division and home field advantage in the wildcard matchup. What's at stake? Well, the winner of this game wins the NFC East. Both teams are in the playoffs, and for the Eagles, if they win, they have a first round bye. This is for the NFC East right here. Big game. Ain't no reason we shouldn't win it. Dallas gave the Eagles a 24 to nothing beat down and took the division straight into the postseason. Cowboys win the NFC East. They're the number three seed. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. This thing just got started. The wildcard game had revenge all over it for the Eagles.
Dallas blew them out again in the wild card game. That defense harassed McNabb all game long. Romo was exceptional again. He had two touchdowns, no interceptions, and a passer rating over 104. It was one of the most memorable wild card games in franchise history, 1991. Mind control the body, not the body controlling the mind. Get off him! Get off him! Get on down there! The 91 Cowboys were a team on a horizon. For the first time in team history, they had both the league's leader in receiving yards and rushing yards. Burland. Touchdown, Dallas! First down, and a lot more in the Redskin territory. Dallas started their first games 1-3, including an embarrassing loss to the Eagles 24 to nothing. You know, we ran into a wall with the Eagles. And that's when we said, oh man, we're not as good as we think we are. The game was a massacre. That Eagles defense had 11 sacks. Under pressure and down from behind, seven three wide receivers and eight Bateman trapped and sacked. Oh, well, you whipped them seven in a row, make that eight. But this game wasn't just one-sided, it was a slaughter, Reggie. It was You had no way of expecting to be as dominant as you were today. Well, we, we knew what we could do. You know, those kind of statements made that we, that the offensive line had confidence that they could block us. You know? We were determined to come in here and prove that they could. And Cowboys and the Eagles will meet again in the second to last game of the season. But Dallas was able to turn their season around by winning nine out of their next 11 games. In week 16, Dallas got the chance to avenge themselves versus the Eagles when they met up to determine huge implications for the playoff picture. Whoever won the game was out of the playoffs. Dallas beat the Eagles and won a spot in the wildcard playoffs. An incredible win. They took it to the biggest, baddest defense in the sport and jammed it right down their throat. Where they would meet up with the Chicago Bears. The Cowboys had the sixth best offense in points, while the Bears had the ninth best defense in the league. Many sports analysts believe that the game was going to be physical and low scoring, especially since Dallas was without Troy Aikman. Predictions were true, the Bears were driving, and that is when Bill Bates did this. Dallas leading 17-13, Harbaugh. Pass is picked off by Bates. Hey, there's the guy every year they're going to get rid of Bill Bates. Can he make it? Can he play anymore? In the right place, he knows how to play this game. That'll be the last play for the Bears. The Cowboys will go to Detroit. That was one of the most clutch interceptions in franchise history that took us straight to the divisional game, 1980. Holy cow, I can't... Uh... Believe this, I, uh... 1980 was a special year because it was the first time that Captain America wasn't the quarterback in over a decade. Everyone wondered, could Danny get the job done in his first playoff game as a Cowboys starting quarterback? The fans, although they have an important role as far as your, your emotions go, uh, their opinion doesn't really matter. He's not the pressure quarterback that Roger was. Danny White's a, he's a, a Roger second as far as I'm concerned. Well, I think their chances are excellent with Danny White. The quality in the clutch. I just don't think he has it. Danny White didn't fall far from the tree in this season. He had an exceptional year. His numbers were better than any quarterback in franchise history. He had a team record 28 touchdowns. His performance alongside Hill, Dorsett, and Drew Pearson was special. Hill had 1,000 yards and 8 touchdowns. That's the 8th touchdown catch for Tony Hill. And the pass blocking was out of sight. While Pearson added on 6 touchdowns. Dorsett had a fantastic year with almost 1,200 yards rushing and 11 touchdowns. Five goal line touchdown. Charlie's Angels in that doomsday defense were just 17th in yards and 12th in points on defense. Dallas ended the year 12 and 4. In the wild card game in the playoffs, they faced off with an old rival, the Rams. This looks like a real close game to me. Like four, you know, they'll both score four times each, like 20 points apiece, and maybe an overtime game. Dallas was just too much for the Rams that day. From the second quarter to the fourth quarter, Dallas scored four straight touchdowns without allowing a single point. On the 12 yard line, door set to the 10 5. He's going in. Touchdown. Ten and a half minutes to go in this third quarter. Right on a play action. Right open is Jay Saldi. Saldi to the three. That, that was Tony Hill. Correction. White. Door set. Dallas was unbelievable in that game. They ended up beating the Rams. 34 to 13. Their next date, January 4th against Atlanta. 2014. 
To me, the 2014 season was Romo at his best. And I'm not just talking about yards and touchdowns. I'm talking about efficiency. His ability to do what was asked of him without having a lot of room for failure was remarkable. He completed a ridiculous 70% of his passes. Words at him. They're at Tennessee next week. Touchdown, Williams! He had a 113 passer rating. Romo. Seventy-nine percent QBR. Over there against Corey White. Romo looking the other way, and it's caught for the touchdown by Terrence Williams. And a seven-point-eight touchdown percentage. Different salary structure. Romo spin throw end zone. While also throwing for thirty-four touchdowns and just nine interceptions, the X Factor Dez eighty-eight Bryant had a legendary year. The guy was unguardable. His sixteen touchdowns are still a Cowboys record. The year in the limited time he's played, but Romo's going deep for Bryant. DeMarco Murray also had a record-breaking season. His eighteen hundred and forty-five yards were the most by a Cowboys running back in history. Lyman here on a third and one. Murray left side, first down and more. That's the record. And a new single season rushing leader for Dallas. The offensive line was the best in football. Ricky Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, and Travis Frederick were the best in the business. That offense was special. Dallas ended up running through the division with a 12 4 record and the most efficient offense in football. Dallas faced the Lions in one of the craziest wildcard games in history. Roma would have a monstrously efficient game. He threw for almost 300 yards and two touchdowns. His play on the field was clutch down the stretch. With a few minutes left in the ball game, Romo drove his team down to the eight-yard line. Pass interference as Romo starts the drive with a pass to DeMarco Murray. Romo has it tipped. It's caught. Murray. Romo over the middle. He's got Witten. Witten down inside the 25. On first down, Des Bryant will play. And that is when Romo threw a dagger to Terrence Williams for the game-winning touchdown. Third down and goal. Romo protected. End zone. Touchdown, Terrence Williams. Don't count this team out. They have been outstanding on the road, played their best football on the road. They've got their work cut out for them next week at Lambeau. But 8-0 on the season is going to be a heck of a matchup next Sunday. Dallas ended up going to the divisional game against the Green Bay Packers, where we all know how that ended. So there you have it, Cowboy Nation. Those are my top five wildcard games in franchise history. What's yours? Until next time, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.